This video today is going to show you how to use SUSE Loader, how to update SUSE Loader, and then how to download the new information onto your, uh, your, your range. So usually when you need to use SUSE Loader, it's because you're repairing a software issue. So you might have a, uh, a new monitor installed and it's got a different software version than all of the other uh, control units. So uh, what you'll do, the first thing you'll do is actually go to this website here, software.seuss.com. And then you'll scroll down about three quarters of the way down, you'll find an entry for SUSE Loader. So even if you already have SUSE Loader on your page, right, I already have SUSE Loader here, but we're going to update the software within SUSE Loader. Okay. So you hit the down arrow to download it. Okay, it just takes a minute. And then we'll go look at it in the download folder. So here it is. So then we'll just double click it. If this if the window comes up that says Windows protected your PC, select more information and run anyways. And now what we're going to do here is repair. Repair just means it's making changes to the current version. So we'll repair. And if another window comes up that says, do you want to allow this app to make, uh, do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes to your device? select yes and then loader will well, it's initializing now it'll install uh, uh, the changes that need to be made I'm going to pause the recording while it's doing that Okay, so the download is complete, and now you have to restart your computer. Okay, that'll put all the correct information into the, all, all the right places in your computer. So we'll restart now. So we just restarted our computer. By this time, you've downloaded the loader from the website, right? the new version of the loader, and you've run the file that was downloaded from your downloads folder. Okay, so at this point, we're going to go down here and open up Com Service and start the service. Now at this time you also have your range plugged in, powered on, and it's select, uh, connected to this laptop. So the green light's on, we're transmitting packets. Now we're going to open our SUSE loader. And when SUSE loader opens, it'll show you everything that's connected to this laptop, to this computer this is your range. So with my range I have a single 951 connected, a single 931, an HS10 and an LS10. When you're looking at this, this will tell you what needs to be updated. So my HS10 is actually using an older version of the software. So let's select that. We'll use this drop down. In some cases, it'll give you all of the previous versions, some of the previous versions, or, or maybe just one. Um, but with this, uh, with this device, I'm actually using an older uh, first generation board in this HS10. And if I use one of the newer uploads, it won't work right. Uh, I found that out by actually using a newer upload and then having to revert back. So that's why I use the one that's in there. If I wanted to change it, and in fact, let's go here. Let's let's use this uh, uh, 
So it's seeing this LS10. Uh, better yet, let's use the 951. So the latest version of 951 is 1.8. Previous version was 1.7. Now I already have 1.8 loaded, but if I wanted to revert for some reason, put 1.7 back in there, I would select it, hit start download. And you'll see the, the progress bar. It's just like every other kind of download that we do. You know, the progress bar will start and reach 100%. So it's going to take a little while, so I'm going to pause the recording while it's doing that. So a couple things I want to point out while this is downloading. Um, it does have uh, release notes. And if you want to, you can go through and read uh, all the new features, the bug fixes and the features. Okay. Um, one of the big ones for a lot of us was the addition of the NCAA 50 foot three position final. Okay. There it is right there. Shows up in this release of 1.8. And we can go back um, and you can look through these if, if you want to, but um, if you're looking to see if something has been fixed, um, if you've made a suggestion, and of course you can always email, you can always email support at seuss.com and give them uh, a software improvement suggestion. They will pass it on to the developers and um, they will give it consideration. And I know that I've submitted some things that they've actually implemented. So. It's not that it just goes into a black hole. It might actually, you know, if, if you have a valid point, um, they'll do their best to get it worked into the next version release. So at this point, my download is finished, but it's still finalizing the, uh, uh, the update to the device itself. So this, this is where you're actually updating the device on the range. So keep the range powered up all the time. Uh, keep your network interface plugged in and just let this do its thing. Um, if you do have a software issue um, that requires uh, a, a change, if you call tech support, especially the Swiss tech support, the first thing they will say is update the firmware in the, in the device. So if you have any issues, you bought, uh, let's say you bought five control units last year and you bought five this year, last year's version was uh, uh, 7.1 and this is, or 1.7 and this is 1.8, so the new five you got was 1.8. The first thing they will do is say, update the firmware. Okay, this is where you do that. Um, and actually as it's updating the device, it gives you a message on the device that says that the firmware is updating. So if you're doing a monitor uh, or, or a control, the monitor on the control unit will show you uh, that the firmware is being updated and then it'll reinitialize the monitor. I don't know if that beeping came through, but that was my monitor, re uh, my control unit reinitializing. And now it's powered back up and it's back to the setup screen. So the green check mark means you're all set up now. So that's part one of what you have to do. The next thing you have to do is go into SUSE data. And like in our scenario where we have five of our control units on uh, 1.7 and five on 1.8, um, we're going to go put the same load on all control units. Okay. Okay, so we've got SUSE data open. Now the next thing you're going to have to do is go up to the common settings tool up here and change CU version. Okay, make sure we're not in a competition. We're not in a competition. You wouldn't want to update this in a competition. Um, so these uh, CTM shoot 275s those are for 
the older control units, okay, a 941, 931, okay. These actually say CU 951. So these are for the 951. Uh, we're already up to version 1.8. I downloaded 1.7 just now for the example. You will update yours with the latest version, okay. When you are downloading from, from Loader, use 1.8. When you're changing it in here, use 1.8. Okay, they have to match, or you're going to have the, the possibility that you can send an exercise from here, and the control unit won't recognize what it is. If you tell it that you want to send a, uh, I don't know, 50 meter rifle target um, from, you know, if, with some uh, Norwegian exercise, for example, and it's something unusual like that. The control unit has to have that target loaded in it to be able to shoot that exercise. If not, it'll get confused. It'll tell you that it's going to shoot that exercise, but the target that shows up will not be the right one. So you basically have have to have everything in in the control unit has to match what's in data. That's the bottom line. So because my both my control units are now 1.7, I'm going to dot seven in here select OK and then you just restart SUS data do this and do this and yes we want to exit the application okay we closed it now we'll open it again using our alphanumeric down here that we always do so if we have multiple opens on one day we can look through it alphabetically to find what we're looking for. Okay. All right. This is what we want. We want our two black boxes to show up. And the main thing that changes when you change your CU version is the exercises that are down here okay there may have been exercises added there may have been exercises removed um, it's it's this is the primary thing that changes so your air rifle 3x20 whatever uh, Whatever target, what if if the ISSF comes out and says, okay, from now on we're not using the target we were using with the uh, uh, seven black and three white rings. Now we're going to start using three black and seven white rings. The device has to reflect the target that the ISSF has specified. So that's why these changes have to be have to have to happen every year or so every every uh, every time the, the rules change we have to change the software to reflect the rules so that's how you do it that's how you update the software in your units and the CU version in SUS data okay select right there